Hello everybody, welcome again to my video newsletter. Thank you so much for your attention and your support to watching my video every week. This week, I want to talk about this step, pretty interesting step. It's called turn to flush. Look at the meaning itself. It's a step of arrow. Arrow, like a weapon. So the step itself is not talking about the arrow itself. It's about the action of a shooting an arrow. So let's talk about the step and talk about the, the movement of shooting and bold and arrow. So we have to pull back with a lot of pressure and we release the arrow goes out with the quickness and directness of it. Okay? So let's do tone to flush. One way is moving forward like that. Did you see the time difference? His leg goes to back, creating the tension and expansion with the quickness of the landing. So two steps, one step, two portions of that step is not equal. One is a lot of tension and expansion, just like we're pulling back the ball and release the arrow is the landing part of it. So once again, back, down. Timing is very important. Another is go to the front. Watch. You see? Again, get yourself up with a lot of tension, a lot of room, a lot of expansion. Then this leg, this leg goes out like a shooting an arrow. So when we teach this step, we have to make sure the timing and the texture and the consistency of this step in order to do it correctly. So we don't feel like very heavy. We don't feel there is no elevation. It is expansion, then attack. I hope this helps. Thank you so much. And it's a fun step. Please incorporate that in your, in your classes. It's a beautiful step to connect something else together. And that for the men especially, it's a beautiful step for a big jump, Grand Allegro. Okay? Thank you. I appreciate you. And uh, see you next time.